Coming up next on Middle Tennessee News, a tornado ripped through Rutherford and Wilson County, leaving some residents with damaged homes. We got an exclusive interview with someone who suffered from the destruction. And a Murfreesboro officer and his canine partner in crime are deciding to take the walk home. All those stories plus your latest look at weather, Middle Tennessee News starts right now. Well, thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Lauren Davis. And I'm Tradisha Woodard. A destructive tornado ripped through a small town in Rutherford County Wednesday. And as Middle Tennessee News reporter Austin Thompson tells us, this exclusive interview, one family there says, they are grateful to be alive. This was a swimming pool with fence all the way around it. They've cleaned up a lot of this. Meet Judy the McKnight. Whole is a car cover that's hanging up in the tree. Her family is working on picking up the pieces left behind from the tornado that hit their Milton home Wednesday afternoon. They heard a loud noise and they looked out and our carport top blew away as with half the garage roof blew away. According to the National Weather Service, 80 mile per hour winds hit homes just like this one here behind me. Judy's wheelchair bound husband and son were inside the house when the confirmed EF zero hit. They were scared. They didn't know exactly what was going on. McKnight says it was a very close call for her husband. My husband was sitting right in the room close as far as that door there to this. So he's very, very fortunate. Judy says this is not the first time tornadoes have ripped through the area. I have not seen them personally myself, but we have had several tornadoes come through our area. Some good news out of all the destruction is that the McKnight family will repair and are currently working on building their dream home nearby. For Middle Tennessee News, I'm Austin Thompson. The National Weather Service says in addition to the tornado that hit Rutherford County, another one hit Wilson County later that day. Well, Tradisha, you know, today was absolutely very cold and yesterday was actually pretty warm. So the weather and the storm really just kind of roughed everything it up. It was, felt amazing outside yesterday yes. and then it ended with rain. And now today it's kind of chilly, so you need to grab a jacket. But the question is, Megan, are those temperatures going to drop even more tonight? That's right, Tradisha. We are seeing a large drop in weather over the past day or so. Yesterday it was really warm. I saw people out in uh, t-shirts and shorts and chacos, and today people are bringing out their puffy rain jackets, their puffy coats, the beanies and everything like that. So we really are seeing a large dip in weather. Um, it looks like it, it dipped about 30 to 40 degrees over the past 24 hours or so. Last night we saw some really cold rain coming through, um, but currently today it is sunny, but those cold temperatures are still staying around. It's about 36 degrees outside with the humidity at about 48% and the wind is a little bit lower than it was yesterday, so it's 11 miles per hour today. A little bit of rain, a uh, little bit of rain here and there, uh, but it is still feeling like those colder temperatures are going to be staying throughout the week, but we will be taking a look back at the rest of the week and everything like that when we come back to weather. But for now, I'm going to toss it right back to the desk. Yes, now some street residents are going to need new mailboxes and a witness says two teenagers are to blame. An anonymous Lynn Street resident told Murfreesboro police that she heard something loud outside just to find two teens knocking over mailboxes and fleeing the scene. Well, newly released data from the Centers for Disease Control ranks Tennessee just outside of the top 10 states with the highest number of fire, firearm deaths. Tennessee ranked 14th highest in the country with a firearm death rate of 18.4 out of every 100,000 people. That number is up from a few years ago when it was about 17. The Murfreesboro Police Department is very proud of one of their sergeants as he graduates from an intensive program. Sergeant Mark Woods, as a newly minted graduate of the Northful State Northwestern University School of Police Staff and Command program, teaches law enforcement managers a variety of topics. Woods joins several of his fellow officers who are also alumni of the program. 
Well, a Murfreesboro police officer, Greg Brown, and his partner in crime, Juice, retire after years of putting their hand and paw into crime. Officer Brown has been a part of the Murfreesboro Police Department for 17 years alongside his canine partner, solving narcotic cases, sniffing out drugs, jumping fences, and catching animals. Together, they have co accomplished unbelievable tasks. Brown thinks none of this would be possible without his partner by his side. Juice has been in the United States, I won't say for two weeks, um, when I went up and, and picked him, him up. Um, he actually arrived in the country with a set of hip x-rays and a slow check passport. It's been a long journey for both officers. While Brown plans to relax with family, Juice is always ready to play. Now still ahead on Middle Tennessee News, we'll tell you how a group of MTSU alumni are making the noise at this year's Grammys Award. And is it coats, shorts, umbrellas? Megan's back with the extended forecast next on Middle Tennessee News. Now a Murfreesboro teacher hit the lottery winning a brand new truck this week. Holloway High School English teacher Jennifer Williams picked up her charcoal gray Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew with her family Wednesday at the Ford Lincoln of Columbia, Tennessee. Lottery officials say Williams won the truck by entering eligible lottery tickets in a free online Players Club VIP suite. The prize could not have come at a better time for Williams. She was driving a 2003 Ford Explorer. Now, Williams didn't think that the points she accumulated over the years would win her brand new Ford F-150 in the Tennessee Lottery. Drawing, but with her, she has now a new set of wheels, and Williams is ready to hit the streets of Murfreesboro in style. <laughs> well, Tradisha, I really hope that new Ford F-150 has some new windshield wipers because it's been pretty dreary this most week regarding weather. This weather, weather has been most definitely tacky. Yes. Very, very tacky. <laughs> you never know what you're going to expect. Megan, please tell us what we're going to get for the rest of the um, week coming up. Yeah. Well, guys, it really looks like I wish that I had won that Ford F-150 uh, a couple days ago, especially with all the rain and everything. It's going to be a lot safer driving on the roads in a big truck like that, especially. So uh, we are seeing a little bit of rain in the future forecast, but we're going to look at today's conditions once again before we go into the rest of the week. So once again, currently it is sunny outside, sunny but windy and also very, very cold. So we are just above freezing temperatures right now, so right at 36 degrees with the humidity at about 48 percent. So not not too humid outside, um, but definitely you can feel a little bit of it in the air. So looking on to tonight's forecast as well. Tonight it is going to be um, a little bit colder, so we are seeing some cloudier, cloudier skies, and it's going to be around uh, the low of 28 degrees, so right below freezing level. So you're going to want to bring out those coats, bring out those jackets in the morning. You're probably going to want to go and uh, start your car before you start out the day, just to make sure it's a, a little bit warmer in your car as well. So the humidity is going to raise just a little bit to about 57%, and that wind is going to stay right around that 10 mark. Um, so the 10 miles per hour, it's going to be, a, we're going to see a little bit more wind. And then looking on for the rest of the week as well, um, we are seeing some rainy, rainy showers in the rest of the week. So um, fortunately for us, it is going to stay sunny uh, today and a little partly cloudy into tomorrow as well. So today the, the high was 36 with a low of 28. And tomorrow we're going to be seeing that raise just a little bit higher for the high temperature of 47 to 30 and then a low of 35 degrees. Looking on into the rest of the weekend on Sunday, it does look like we're going to be seeing a little bit of rain coming in into the Murfreesboro area with a high of 48 and a low of 45. And that rain's just going to keep on coming into the beginning of next week as well with highs on Monday of 59 degrees and a low of 56. So we are seeing it dip out of those, those right above freezing temperatures into the beginning of next week. So it does look like we're just going to be seeing a little bit of that um, colder temperature, the colder weather into this week as well, and then moving on back into those warmer temperatures. But it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing the sun um, anytime soon 
into the, the, end, the beginning of next week. As well as on Tuesday, it is going to be a little rainier staying around in there as well. So we will be seeing a little bit of rain throughout this week, but hopefully that will be going away and those warm temperatures and the sunny skies will be coming back out sometime soon. So for that's all for weather for today. So I'm going to pass toss it back to Lauren and Tradisha. Thank you, Megan. Now the 61st annual Grammys Awards airs this Sunday starting at 7 Central on CBS. And among all the recording industry stars nominated, you'll find some Blue Raiders. This year, eight MT alumni nominees contributing to rap, pop, country, and gospel projects, including the first student ever to be a part of the distinguished list while enrolled at the university. Integrated Studies major Bratavius Tay Keith Chambers, who graduated in December, Chambers co-produced rap star Travis Scott's Sicko Mode. The song was nominated for Best Rap Performance, Best Rap Song, and is a part of Scott's also nominated Astro World album. Thank you for joining us this evening from Middle Tennessee News. I'm Lauren Davis. And I'm Tradisha Woodard. If you missed any of our shows, you can watch them on our website at middletennessenews.net. We'll see you next week. Until then, have a great weekend. Good job, you made it. <laughs>